Hey everybody, welcome to Don't Be a Hero, Put the Coconut Down. My name is Simone and this is George and this is where we okay. watch movies and television. Final of the Bourne trilogies, yeah. the Bourne Ultimatum. Don't worry people, I'm not going to mention the thing that I shall never mention again. I've read all the comments and the death threat emails. Oh, George. I'm kidding, there was none. Okay, so ultimatum. Don't chase me or I will do something. <laughs> Which has been like the theme of the last two movies. I mean, after the last one, I think that it's it. That goes back to the same question. Is that like, are the three movies written as a single arc? Mm. Or did they just add more as they went, oh, the first one was successful. Let's do more. I don't know. It's hard. That's really tricky because when you're dealing with books, I feel like the books were written. <laughs> No, no, you're, you're being mean to me. I can feel it. They were using books and books were written already. No, I mean that the... Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> when you're talking about, like, did they... Like, was the first one successful and then they decided to make more? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I think that the books were there. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so Born Identity is 1980. There's so many Born books. There's 17. That's so many Born books. <laughs> and they almost all have, like, Born something words. None of them are kerfuffle. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I guess yeah. I'm writing it. <laughs> you should do the the romantic comedy version. I'm trying to remember like what what could what, what could <laughs> wait, be. Wait, wait, wait. Dear born. diary, born. <laughs> <laughs> the born diary. The born diary. <laughs> okay, before I press play, quick reminder: you like and subscribe this video. Ooh. This guy We're just in... can't catch a break. Is <laughs> in Russia? Okay. Ow. Did he get shot in the leg? He's definitely injured. Sorry, I can't get over you calling those wooey wooey things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even more flashbacks. Send a man. Get to him. All right, viewers, is it good Russian? Is it real? Is it, you know, Hollywood Russian? <laughs> Will you commit to this program? I can't. All right. There's no place that won't catch up to you. It's how every story ends. Mm. You always will be. Go on, right. go on, go on. She wouldn't want me to. Who is she? Marie Kreutz. It's one good thing in life. Bourne's last confirmed location was Moscow. The reason Bourne went to Moscow was to see the daughter of his first target. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think if he wanted to hurt us, he could have sent the tape to CNN. And hope for the best, plan for the worst. Classic project manager. Hmm. I'm surprised she brought this up. I thought she would be, like, on his side already. On hmm. Bourne's side. Because she, like, gave him his real name at the end of the last movie. Oh, he looks so much better without <laughs> Westerosi uh, leprosy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl that he was on the run with was found dead in a river halfway around the world. Turn off the tape record. So he's a reporter? Yeah. Oh. oh, I have that exact same plant. Not this one, the one that Born is sitting next to. Show the plant. Imagine if it cuts back, it's not there. Just continuity error. She was killed. They're talking about Marie, right? Like that's I, Marie's brother? I think so, yeah. It was always gonna end this way. I didn't believe that. How did she die? Oof. She was shot. Someone started all of this. And I'm gonna find them. Okay, he wasn't in the previous movies, right? The brother. Or am I losing I my mind? I don't remember. Have you heard about Operation Blackfriar? It's just like the other movies. I mean, <laughs> within yeah. the first 10 minutes, there's just like five dots already going off. Yeah. And you're wondering where they're gonna meet. <laughs> Looks like it's coming from a European signal. <laughs> We intercepted a call in London. Keyword Black Pride. That's not the first time we've heard that, right? I feel like we've heard it before, but but maybe I'm thinking of Skyrim. <laughs> I feel like Brian Cox's character said it like one time or something. Mm. I don't know if it was like the second film or the first film. Cross is easy. We want the source. <laughs> NSA really had that kind of global surveillance? Because that's yeah. I'm gonna get my head around this and type it up. I'll see you first thing. I want rendition protocols and put the asset on standby just in case. Our target is a British national, mm. Simon Ross, a reporter. His car, Jeez. bank accounts, credit cards. Wow, what is privacy? I know that no one's gonna actually answer this, but it makes me wonder, like, when CIA agents or NSA, people who work for the NSA watch these kind of movies, do they go, no, it's so much more mundane. <laughs> like, or what if they're like, oh God, <laughs> they know exactly what we do. <laughs> 
<laughs> Who told them? <laughs> Are they listening yeah. to us? <laughs> it's like uh, cops going into so much more paperwork in reality. Mm. Will you commit to this program? Ooh. Oh my god. So they like forced them into the program then. Oh, that shot. Is, oh god. Hmm. I'm just piecing, like trying to piece stuff together, but like he took out that family and the job went bad. So he had to take out the, like the mom and the dad of that girl. Nice that was his first the job. Then he goes back and he's like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. And then mm. something. He was scared. Scared about what? Black Briar. I've been reading your stories. Oh! Waterloo Station. Okay. South entrance. 30 minutes. Oh, where's he going? Okay, he is on the move. Do you think a reporter would actually just accept that call and then go for it? Because if your story's published, somebody could just call it and make it a hoax, right? That's true. Just to mess with you. Yeah. Audio engaged. Whoa! Mobile One should have it. Mobile One should have it. Destination is Waterloo Station. Okay, Waterloo Station. Give me eyes at Waterloo. Or okay. well, maybe they only listen to people who like reporters or whatever who specifically focus on exposés and like you know mm. so they don't just like yet, tap okay. everybody three, yeah back. yeah it's so intense <laughs> mm -hmm. these movies are really good at making that intensity when in reality just people walking <laughs> yeah it's true but it feels so intense it's that music yeah oh Ooh. Okay. That's so cool. Oh my they god. They don't even know where he's getting the call from. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Give me a need. There's a silver Chrysler Voyager. There's a surveillance. Yeah, he would have picked up on all oh, that stuff. Oh, yeah. There's a man in the second story. Oh my god. That's not his phone, sir. <laughs> it's so funny Figure that they didn't out, even Jimmy. see Jason Bourne walk past him. All right, there's a man in a blue yeah, hello, right? sweatshirt. He's talking yeah. on a phone. Walk directly to him. Do not let him get oh, outside. He He's gonna get out of sight, all right. <laughs> okay, who's the guy in the blue? Oh, That's amazing. Yeah, oh my god, that yeah. poor civilian. I hope nothing dude. bad happens to him. I want you to walk directly to your left. <laughs> Watch that bus. What? Watch that right, bus. What's going on? Somebody yeah. tell me we lost Grab the TV. TV. Ooh. Oh shit. And then he's gonna see this happening and they're like, oh my god, it's real. Oh my god, that poor guy. Oh, the poor. What did they inject him? Holy oh wow, they just, shit. just straight up kidnapped a random British civilian. The fact that they would just do this in another mm. country, like grabbing a random civilian, really makes me think of Team America. Oh. Just world police. <laughs> Who's your source? Why do these people have to meet? Because you found something. Was it Blackbriar? It's Blackbriar. Fredstone of Grey. He was square one. We have to move. So I guess maybe like the current assets all come out of Blackbriar, right? Because you said Black Blackbriar's mm. trust don't upgrade. The, the next level up. Yeah. Do exactly as I said. Need to move up to your right. Oh, now he's oh. too paranoid. He's gonna think everyone's after him. Yeah. I mean, everyone is after him, but he's gonna think. Tie your shoe right now. Tie your shoe. Oh. Wow. Okay, but yeah. stop looking well, around, I mean, though. He's just a reporter. You know. Ah. He's I know, he's just a random civilian, like, he's just a dude, yeah. Like, I would be freaking out, too. Move along the far wall in four, three, two. I love this. <laughs> that is so cool. You cannot afford to lose this guy, people. Oh, the bin man, I think he's one of them. He's just, Jesus, he's reaching for something. <laughs> Oh god, he's got a gun. Oh no, no, oh, no! Oh no! He panicked and now everybody sees him. Oh my god! Here he goes, tell Grab Team A, go! He's still talking with somebody. Oh, I know, I can't blame him because he's, totally. he's not used to any of this. And he doesn't know that Bourne is like a super agent. Mm. Or that like the actual skills that he has. Feed out the east exit, that's to your right as you come into the store. Oh! Go into the back to lock the door. <laughs> Oh, holy shit. Now, do you trust him? I mean, I've always trusted him. <laughs> but that's because he's Matt Damon. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, uh. no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's Jason Bourne. That's the clip that I saw with the kid who was like fighting water bottles, and it's him <gasps> saying it. I saw a lot of people commenting that too. In the last two videos. That makes sense now. <laughs> Listen, this isn't some story in a newspaper. This is real. Oh. 
Born's lucky this is before cameras have uh, machine learning. <sighs> Human detection. <laughs> oh my god. I can see the entrance from here. If I go now, I can make it. Oh no. No, oh, no, 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 no. Don't no. do it. Don't do it. They know exactly where you are. Wow, he saw the flash of the lens, right? Going for it. No! 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 Oh, you f Oh, that sucks. Oh my god, he, he totally just looks like a guy that robbed a dead body. <laughs> it's like me in any video game. <laughs> <laughs> That sucks. It does, yeah. I mean, yeah, I get it. It's a lot to happen in one moment. And th that was, that was Patty Constantine. That's he was in twenty minutes mm -hmm. of the <laughs> movie. Yeah, that's it. So long, Viserys. Director Kramer would like to see you. Wow. So, I mean, he did get the name uh, Blackbriar. Mm hmm So at least he has the next step. Yeah, maybe? he got a lot, a lot of oh. things actually. It all started with Jason Bourne. <laughs> Guess we're going to Madrid. Yay! <laughs> it is now my favorite city, or one of my favorite cities. I'm gonna have to go one of these days. He was gunned down right in the middle of the Waterloo station. Only mm -hmm. we need to get our hands on those documents. That is the most government looking actor. Like, the whole <laughs> hairstyle, outfit, everything. He's here, he's a threat, and we both want the same thing. We're careless in Stockholm. So, what was Waterloo? Just careless again. Oh, you managed to get into a firefight at a public train station. I'll see you at the office. Enjoy your egg whites. <laughs> I don't know why I really like that last jab. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy your egg whites. <laughs> oh. Were you there? Pretty sure, yeah. Cool. I mean, it's like over a decade Paul later, but... She's going to be quarterbacking the search effort. You have an echelon package? Yes. Why isn't it on? We were waiting. I want everyone to sit down, strap in, and turn on all you've got. I like her. <laughs> She's awesome. You're the boss, Pam Pam. <laughs> now, a round trip ticket to Turin, Italy yesterday. Born's not your source. Born met Ross in Turin for breakfast, and then at noon the same day, Born calls Ross. <laughs> I love it how quickly she started poking holes and everything. Yeah. The guy you're after is a CIA operative with clearance above top secret. Look at all the people whose cell phones were switched off the entire period Ross was in Turin. Tom Brewster, Jack Boulin, and Neil Daniels. I love it. Because last time she was super competent in her job, but got the wrong info. Now, yeah. she is just competent in her job. Over here. Taking yeah. charge. He's station chief in Madrid, isn't he? All right, call the RSO. See, it's, oh, it's, see, it's interesting because custody. there's still a level above her that's ha going on that she can't mm -hmm. see. Daniels isn't really. I'm worried about more. Like, she mm. still doesn't know that they're just taking out anyone who's on the trail. She thinks the, the reporter got caught in Jason yeah. Bourne's problem, not the op other way around. Oh, my God. Those doors, those locks. <laughs> my first day checking the Airbnb <laughs> in Madrid, I broke the key from those locks. Oh my god. Because <laughs> I wasn't used to it. It just snapped. <gasps> okay. Thank you, Michelle, to this program. Whew, they're fast. Mm hmm. It's like they work for the CIA or something. Yeah, it's super weird. Sir? They're out the front door. When is she gonna see that something else is going on? That's the moment I'm excited for. When is Bourne gonna call that guy and be like, stop eating egg whites, I can see you're doing it. <laughs> and then he proceeds to shit his pants. <laughs> the safe is empty. Shit. Looks like he left in a hurry. And they're gonna think it's Bourne, even though it's the other guy who grabbed everything and left. Maybe. And, well, we saw him, right? He packed up really quickly and left. Yeah, but I mean, like, I think... They think Daniel left. Oh, you don't think they think Jason got it? Yeah, when they said he left in a hurry. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> he oh my was god. Right there. <laughs> um, yeah, when he said he left in a hurry, I think they're talking about Ah, uh, okay. Daniels? Is that his name? Daniel. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> oh Suck it. That is so awesome. Get the second team over there now. I'm gonna say I'm very happy about that fight just now. Hmm. It was so stable. <gasps> Where's Daniels? Oh my god. Is she gonna help? Because she's good. Yeah, I think... Generally her, speaking. Yeah. I think her and Tam... Yeah. Would, like... Hello? Yeah, I don't know. Who is this? She was with us when we hunted Born in Berlin. Nikki, I need to do an ID challenge. 
Oh. oh. That's cool. Response Everest. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. That's a really good way to show that she's on his side. I loved that moment. That was so awesome. Two officers on site. Are you in contact with them? The guy's on the ground. <laughs> Unconscious, but alive. Any sign of Neil Daniels? No. We have reason to believe there's a connection between Neil Daniels and Jason Bourne. Some people are convinced he's still a threat. She knows Bourne's listening. She said that specifically in that way. I'm to send him a message. You yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a threat. He just took out two more of my men. The only realistic way to end this is to eliminate the threat. Backup will be arriving in approximately one hour. Do you copy? <laughs> Five minutes. Yeah. How long do I have? Three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I know where Daniels is. Oh. Hola, estoy en calle Norte 334. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Call the police, so now there's some chaos. That's that's awesome. Yeah, very cool. Where are you parked? To the right, 20 meters near side of the street. Mm -hmm. Two subjects seen exiting safe house. And all the cops gonna show up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, because it just looks like a bunch of civilians with guns. Yeah. <laughs> You just got Jason borned. You just got borned again. <laughs> all right, all right. But she's going to be in trouble because it was... I think he figured out, right, that he... Or she admitted that he was giving Jason a message. What's Operation Blackbriar? Started as an NEAT surveillance program. We are the sharp end of the stick now, Pam. No more wait for someone in Washington to issue the order. <laughs> you mean balance checks? Like... What's the connection to Daniels? He has everything. Names. Dates, ghost sites. You want that stuff in Bourne's hands out on the market to the highest bidder? I don't think so. He's after Daniels for a reason. When we find Dan, we get Bourne too. Like, yeah, Trist don't add checks and balance, but it was ignored by one guy, essentially. Mm -hmm. Now it's just openly no boundary, no rules, no restrictions. Why did you come back? The franchise was making a lot of money. That's why. <laughs> Do you know who that is? That's Daniels. Oh, wait, I don't know who that is. Wait. Did she just lie to him? She might not know. She's an analyst. She's not oh. some high level person. Something happened to me and I need to know what it was. Daniel said the training was experimental. They had to break down the agents before they became operational. Why are you helping me? It was difficult for me with you. Okay. Were they together? You really don't remember anything. Oh my God. They definitely have some sort of history. Yeah, they were together. And also, maybe that's why he's he can best almost every agent then, right? If he's the first one, then every other agent's training is based off what they learn from him. Mm. He's the prototype. He's in Tangier. Oh, I want to go to Morocco. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives, and our merch link is in the description box below. And now, back to the movie. Top secret. They're holding up a bank transfer made to keep him in place while they bring an asset up from Casablanca. It's Pam Landy. She says it's urgent. Tell her I'm unavailable. Yeah, I was going to say it wasn't surprising that Nikki wouldn't know who the other guy was because she works under Pam and Pam doesn't even know much about Blackbriar, so... No, but Pam and... I can't remember Brian Cox's character, but they were in the same room together. That's why I thought they might have been in the same room together at one point. That wasn't Brian Cox in the photo. That wasn't? No. Whoops. <laughs> I thought it was just <laughs> some old white dude. <laughs> they don't all look alike, so oh god. <laughs> I need to see that photo again. I fully just... That's embarrassing. Your confusion makes a lot more sense now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get an elevation on a floor plan, tic-tac-toe. <laughs> oh, he gets to say no, it's like an Uber ride. <laughs> it's 20 minutes away. Nah. It's room 117. His location's being blocked by the firewall. They'll get one of the operatives to terminate him. Oh, wow. He's not the knife kind of agent or the mm. gun kind of agent. He's just a boom. Sir, the asset is deviating off course. Mm. I wonder if the agents get to choose their weapon of choice or it's like <laughs> <laughs> like quest mandatory weapons. Oh my god. Ugh. Quest mandatory items are the worst. <laughs> or maybe the CIA has a scoreboard. Achievements. Take out target with using this. Take out target using this. Yeah. <laughs> Eliminate <laughs> via banana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, poor random civilian. That sucks, but it's not as bad as getting drugged and taken away. <laughs> Trey came from a computer oh, no. To Nikki so now she's implied. Mm -hmm. 
That's where Parsons is. Implicated, mm -hmm. rather. I knew what you meant. <laughs> I want to know what's going on. I said not now. This is about Daniels, not Nikki. She has betrayed us. Do not have the authority to kill her. Oh, yes, I do. Jesus. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> that, that random age. It's like, mom and dad are fighting. <laughs> Right after. <laughs> yeah, now he's so confused. <laughs> and he's right behind him. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Right, because he was going to drive. Oh, wow. No. No, he's dead. Just straight up committed acts of tea in another country. Oh, my God. Oh, now she's, yes, yeah, she's in danger. What? <laughs> Is that even possible? <laughs> yeah, she knows. Oh man, I feel like the cameraman is literally just like running behind him, like full speed. <laughs> That's intense. Okay. Oh, it's chaos. Yeah. But at least he has the crowd. That's to his benefit. Mm -hmm. Although it's not making it easier to find Nikki though. Mm hmm In situations like this, I always wonder why they don't just, like, hide. What do you Get a blanket and, like, just hide and duck under a table. <laughs> <laughs> that would draw the attention of the crowd, right? The people mm. would be like, why are you under the table? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, shit! Okay, okay. Yeah, and he sees that he's... Ooh. And somewhere in the background, the food ranger is making a video about local food. <laughs> Ty Howler. <laughs> Stealing people's clothes along the way? Oh, the glass. <gasps> Brilliant. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, see, she's trying to hide. <laughs> Man, this is a long sequence with this guy. Yeah. Oh. Shit. Oh, oh my God. That was very... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Rumble in the Bronx jump, yeah. which is a video that comes out much later oh. than this, but whatever. <laughs> we did Rumble in the Bronx. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Holy shit. Who was that? Was that the. That was the. Yeah, that was the asset, right? That yeah. Guy. God, that'd be terrifying. Mm hmm. Is he gonna land right on him? Okay. Oh shit. Ow. Oh, ow, ow. ow. I'm surprised he's getting the better of Jason. I know it's like <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy crap. There's something so much more visceral and intense about fight scenes where all the sound is just the fight sound no music. Yeah. And now she's like, holy crap, my own people are after me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need to be dead. Sir. Okay. That confirms both targets are down. I want to be sure about this. Keep an eye on land. Yeah, geez. When do they turn on Pam? <laughs> when? <laughs> I feel like that's what it's leading up yep. toward. Already. Yeah, but I meant like... I can't afford to have this come back to me. If Blackbriar goes south, we'll hang it around her neck and start over. Oh, oh. my god. That sucks. Another scapegoat. I know. I said there were wrong last time, people. Blame it on my ESL classes. <laughs> okay, this is... I like that they have history. Like, we don't know what mm -hmm. it is yet, but introducing or reintroducing something like that makes so much more sense than, like... As a having, love interest, yeah. Having yeah. a different, like, completely different person be a love interest. Yeah, but I want to know if the movie can restrain can itself and not do it. Everyone I ever kill, I just don't know their names. I've tried to apologize for what I've done, for what I am. None of it makes it any better. You're gonna have to run now. Can they run together? And then can she also tell him all the names? Because she probably just actually knows them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh Albert Hirsch. Yeah, see? That's not Brian Cox. Oh, we're about to get another haircut sexy. <laughs> Unless it's intentional to make us think of. We should go. Hmm. Good job, movie. 
Mm-hmm. I'm glad you restrained yourself. It gets easier. Wow. Now she's mm -hmm. just on the run for the rest of her life. Until he takes out the people. It's just that one guy. <laughs> angry and paranoid. Oh, shit. Hmm. <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? It's CIA? <laughs> Had no idea. Wait, the address. <laughs> Hmm. Actually, is the CIA building address public information or secret? Station chief in the box know. is called. Hey, you need to see this. A passport for Gilberto de Piendo just cleared immigration. He's alive. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to communicate with you. Then we should communicate back. Okay, how would they communicate back? No idea. Gilberto oh. <laughs> your party is waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, because that name's never on the grid, so... That's amazing, I just have, like, full body goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> Again? At what point is he just the peeping Tom? Now he knows where it is. Mm-hmm. I hear you're still looking for me. Better get in here, we got a situation. It's all tied off. It's all no! Right. No! Uh, yeah. Wait, this is from the last movie. That's your middle name. Oh! This is the end of the last movie. That's a mercy, man. Yeah. Where, where, where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's the crazy. end of the last movie. Interesting. That's really cool. Landy just left the building. Oh, oh, he did this intentionally so he can break into the office. Oh my god. Right, because everyone's gonna be following her, trying to get him. Mm. How many do we have on Landy? Six men. More on the way. Wow. Got to get the vehicles. We're going mobile. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, we're not done with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> she has no idea she's being used as a bait. I wonder if he chose it because he knows it's going to require more people to monitor the whole place. He's so Ooh. open. Yeah. Is it Bourne? <laughs> hey, what's your passcode? This is Jason Bourne. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got his fingerprint and him saying his name. Mm hmm. Where are you now? I'm sitting in my office. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Suck it. If you were in your office right now, we'd be having this conversation face to face. No. <laughs> Amazing. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good too, because like not only does it rub it in his face, but there's a justified reason for why needing to call him. <laughs> He's got everything. God damn it. <laughs> What just oh, happened? Thank goodness for this guy. Mm-hmm. 415 East 71st Street. Was that the address on the burned paper document? I'm not sure. My memory is not that yeah, good. Yeah, it's hard because <laughs> it, it, the New York address is just number plus number. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Holy Ow. shit. <laughs> that was outrageous. Oh shit. <laughs> now there's CIA shooting at cops. And he takes the car. <laughs> Landy told Bourne that his birthday was 4 15 71. Oh. Oh my god. Numbers. What does it mean? Give me a question. 4 15 71 Street. That was the address. She said. Is a zip code for Barney, Kentucky. She just gave him the training facility. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my oh, god. So much whiplash. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> How cool would have been though? The be on that street and watch this being filmed. Whew. I mean, I probably would have been terrified. Why? Thinking it's a, the accident's real or something. <laughs> Famously, people say action before an accident occurs. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, wow, that was a good crash. <laughs> Seatbelts save lives. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, that's so sad. Mm-hmm. Hello. Warren knows everything. Let's get the hell out of there. No, I'm gonna stay. He's got a cool voice. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Why'd you do it? Because this isn't what I signed up for. Everything you need is in there. Why don't you come in with me? This is where it started for me. This is where it ends. The, oh, man. This stuff is so crazy, because, like, how do you know who you can bring this to? Every news network ever? I have to send a classified document. Get a team to SRD after Bourne. Ugh. Facts. Man, I've worked in an office for way too long. When she like ripped out the binding, I'm like, yeah, but you have to like separate all the pages. Otherwise, when they're like Sherlock's like that, they get stuck together <laughs> yeah. when you try to fax them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, did she send it all? Did she send it all? Is it too late? Yes, last, last page. page. 
<laughs> the beeping. You better get yourself a good lawyer. Mm. The Republic lives on a knife's head. We're finished with you. You will no longer be David Webb. Hello, Jason. Oh. You're still not cut it all back, have you? Why did you pick me? You picked us. Is he lying or is he telling the truth? I don't know. Captain Webb. Dr. Martin just handed me these. You said you wanted to serve. Interesting. He okay. said he's saving American lives. He knew exactly what it meant for you. I'll be whoever you need me to be, sir. But what about the memory that where he's like, I can't? I think that was just the tr the torture. What did he do? It doesn't matter. This is him getting his first mission? That's what I thought. He said he'd do anything it takes. This is it. Oh. Holy shit. That was the test. Just execute an unknown person. From now on, you'll be known as Jason Bourne. Wow. I'm no longer Jason Bourne. You don't deserve the star they give you on the wall at Langley. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. So I guess that I can't is just when he was being quote unquote trained, really mm -hmm. tortured. And maybe like a part of him, sometimes he would just go, I can't do this anymore or whatever, right? Yeah, maybe. Why didn't you take the shot? Do you even know why you're supposed to kill me? No. Oh. Look at us. Look at what they make you give. It's what Clive Owen said in the second movie. Mm -hmm. Or the first movie. Oh! No! Is he dead? It's kind of like how the first movie started. I hope it doesn't end with him dying. Jeez. Yeah, I'd like to begin by making a statement. Some fishermen are going to find him. <laughs> His memory's gone again. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So she's safe. Mm hmm. Oh. Two agency officials have already been arrested. Noah Bose, the program's operational <laughs> chief. Imagine that. Accountability for government. Webb was shot and fell from oh. a Manhattan rooftop. Webb's body has yet to be found. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so good. So maybe this time people will stop freaking chasing him. But the fact that there's... I think this is it. Now it's all wrapped up. I don't think so, because 2016 is another movie just called Jason Bourne. And it's oh Matt Damon on the cover. But this does feel really wrapped up, though. I mean, the... yeah, I get... Every movie felt wrapped up, though, at the end. That's true. People did tell us that, like, these three movies are, like, its own arch. Right, it's that's it. It's just the arc, and then yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I had to close my eyes a few times in this during the movie. There's mm -hmm, no way mm -hmm. around it. My it hurts, but yeah. Uh, whatever. People will say whatever they want to say. Um, this one is great. I can't mm -hmm. believe all of the car stuff, though. There were so many moments where I feel like Jason Bourne in that vehicle should have just been kaput. I feel like, you know, action movie characters, even if it's gritty and realistic, are still superhuman. Because, like, mm -hmm. I feel like just getting the wind knocked out of you would make you kind of <laughs> lay there for a while. <laughs> yeah, seriously. There's no such thing as being so well-trained that you won't get the wind knocked out of you when yeah. you <laughs> fall from great heights. Actually, that, that makes me think of a question for, for everybody that's watching. Like, comment below. In action movies, what is, like, a, a cliche thing that you always notice and dislike? Like, for me, it would be, like, someone gets stabbed in the gut once and then they just die. Yeah. Like, five seconds later. You know what I mean? Like, they go, uh, bleh, bleh, and then they drop. Mm -hmm. It's like, no. <laughs> it would take a long-ass time and really <laughs> painful, probably. Although, I mean... Just to play devil's advocate, you could die of shock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, true, but I know true. exactly what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Or like when explosion happened and the next thing is in the guy who, who survived going like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. Or or that when like any sort of like firearm goes off around anyone's head, mm -hmm. like your hearing is going to get significantly damaged. Yeah, well, that's one thing that... Uh, uh, I remember really loving that Black Hawk Down did, right? Yeah, that yeah, one yeah. guy was already kind of deaf and then like they kept shooting next to his ears and he's getting yeah. more and more deaf and he couldn't hear anything. Oh, yeah. Real. I am kind of curious to find out where 2016's Jason Bourne goes. Me or even too. Bourne Legacy. Because like that Jason Bourne might be a prequel. It might be stories before. Yeah. But the, Jason, the Bourne Legacy sounds Legacy like it's something. Legacy definitely mm -hmm. sounds like something after. But I wonder stuff. if it's a good movie, if it's worth doing. I haven't seen them, but I know a lot of people really hate like the new Terminators because it apparently rewrote, you know, it like oh. un undone some of the things in the first two Terminators. I yeah, we haven't watched the new Terminators. 
Yeah, there's so many of those now, right? But apparently, apparently they uh, they retconned it. At that point, it's no longer whether the movie's good or not. It's just I don't want it to ruin my memory of. Yeah. Let us know if it's any, yeah. if it's worth doing. Cool. Alrighty, that wraps up this episode of Cinebinge. Thanks everybody for joining us, George. Yeah, we'd like to thank our patrons and shout out to yeah. Abe and Andy, Carlos and Church, aka the Baron, Alex McMorris, uh, Always Step, Baker Narwhal Three Ten, Ben A M, Blips, Brendan Meng, uh, Chase Longer, Gin, Trino Alpha, Christopher mm-hmm. B Swanson, and the Golden Bed, Cole B, and Cthulhu Nineteen Twenty. Thank you all very much. Thanks, everybody. Bye.